Hey Zetters, how you going? Christian here from Doofy Racing. Uh, just a quick video before the marketplace drops in four hours and 25 minutes um, on what to buy for your first racehorse um, and a quick download. Now, I love sharing a lot of this content and um, what I've learned over the past nine months uh, on, on Zed um, because what this means is if, if, us, if myself and the community can give you guys tips and tricks on on how to get winning racehorses. You're gonna have fun on the platform. You're gonna stay, you're gonna bring your friends and we're gonna grow as a community. Um, so it's really important to get this information out there, even though it may um, you know, cost me short term in terms of racing and, and losing to some of you new guys. I think it's great for the platform to grow it out. Um, the more people we have in, the more valuable all of our horses are gonna be, obviously um, on a long term. So as I said, four hours, 24 minutes, till the marketplace drops. Now, really important, we don't know what the prices are gonna be. Um, I've, I've done a video uh, a few days ago for beginners, which has um, a reference on what the prices were a week and a half ago when they dropped. Um, are they gonna be the same price? No idea. Are they gonna be more expensive? Don't know. Are they gonna be cheaper? I doubt it. Um, considering how uh, quickly the last marketplace uh, dropped. So if you're working on a budget, this video is really for you. Um, I know there's a few people out there that seem to have endless cash and buying the top end. So um, whether they're collector's items or, or they're looking to race these Z1s and Z2s um, and have some fun with them, I'm not sure. But if you're working to a, a budget of, you know, $300 um, up into, say, one Ethereum, um, then this video is really for you. Um, we'll start at the lower end. Look, if you're working to a small budget and you're, you're new to the platform, um, you don't have any races yet, I think that the best thing for you to do is focus on trying to get a few horses. The Genesis horses are a complete lottery. Um, there's a percentage of each Z uh, Genesis horse that will become good, that will become great, that will become bad, that will become terrible. Um, as you move down the Z line from one to 10, uh, that percentage on getting a good horse and a great horse obviously reduces. It doesn't mean that you can't find a gem in a Z9 or a Z10 that competes in the class one level. And um, it's not impossible, but look, just to give you an idea, there are a handful or two handfuls of Z10 horses out there that do compete at that level. And there would be a couple of thousand of those horses out there. So having said that, um, there are, you know, hundreds of Z10 horses that would be racing, in my opinion, that are winners. They can win at class five, four, even up to class three, and you can have a lot of fun with them uh, and, and, and win some prize money to build your stable up, breed with them, sell them, etc., etc. So if, you, if you're working on a budget, say 300 USD, um, I, I honestly believe you are better off buying a three of the Z9 horses or you know even four of the Z10, depending on what these prices do drop at. I, I don't recommend putting all of your eggs in one basket and just going after one, I don't, I don't know what the prices will be, but say for example, one Z7 horse, um, because look, there's a chance that you may get a dud. If it's your only horse, you're gonna quickly uh, fall out of love with the platform um, and you're not gonna have a lot of fun racing if it's if it's just an absolute dud. If you, if you have three or four horses, there's, there's a chance that you may be competitive with one or two of those horses um, and you're winning some free races. You may find a gem that's just dominating paid races as well. So that's my recommendation if you are working on um, a really small budget. If you if you have something a little bit bigger to play with, like say one Ethereum, uh, look similar here, I, I, again, I don't recommend just jumping in and buying a horse that is worth one Ethereum. You, you can, um, it may be a bit of a collector's item, but short term, I don't think you're gonna have a lot of fun on Zed. Um, work out what the marketplace prices are. And my absolute recommendation is to get five horses. Now you can spread them across a range of Z genotypes, um, or you can uh, focus on creating an army of Z10s um, and, and just have some fun with it. I like on the old prices, you could probably pick up like 20 odd uh, Z10 horses 
and like just have some fun. I, I, I do believe if you bought 20, you would absolutely have a winner in there somewhere. Um, whether or not that's a winner at class four, five, even three level, um, or finding that that really cool hidden gem at class class one level, um, you'll have some fun either way. But you know, my my absolute recommendation uh, for one Ethereum is to focus on the Finny uh, genotypes. I think the Finnies are a really good workhorse. They they tend to be decent runners on a decent percentage. Um, and that's in comparison to the horses around it. Sabo uh, horses, a, a quick download on each one. Sabo horses, to me, have the potential of being the best racehorse in the game. Um, look at Ducky Mallon. I've also got a new one coming up uh, called Enormo. Not anywhere near Ducky Mallon's level, but competes at that top level. Um, but I also have 15 other uh, Z4 or Z3 um, Zabo Gen Genesis horses that do not compete at all. And they are sitting there as paperweights at the moment um, for Dez to drop. So I think for Zabos, there's a great or terrible uh, percentage. Finney seems to be more in towards the middle. They're, they're, I haven't seen a, a great deal of great horses, but they're good and um and bad uh, seem to be quite closer together they don't seem to have that massive drop off that the sabo horses do have uh nakamoto look um most desired horse for obvious reasons z1 z2 these are absolute collector's items if you can afford to get one and hold on to it for a while um regardless of whether you race it or not you, you shouldn't lose money on a, uh, a Z1 horse if you can hold it long enough. Uh, as you just know, like the marketplace price has just increased um, oh, heaps for a Z1. What They went from $2,000 US up to $7,000 US. So even if you had a really terrible Z1 horse on the old marketplace price, selling it under the new marketplace price, you're going to make profit because um, you'll be able to sell that for you know, two uh, to three Ethereum, that terrible horse. Um, and then to touch on Buterans, these ones are just fun. Like I, I, at first, when I first got into it, I wasn't really a big fan of the Buterin because it's super common and, and, and you know, not desired, but I've had some awesome fun with Z10s um, because you can buy so many with them and you can, you can find these gems that you just go, this is awesome um fun racing and it doesn't it doesn't break the bank when you buy a z1 it is anxiety through the roof of whether it's going to be a great racer or not because you can lose um a heap of ethereum if you need to sell that horse quickly for whatever reason and we haven't had a marketplace or a a um an increase in the worth of those z1s so i i personally have have bought z1s raced them um, they've been terrible. I, I bought them at say, you know, three Ethereum, two, two to three Ethereum, and I've had to end up selling them for one and a half. Lost money on it, reinvested that money into a, a, a you know, a lower number Z Genesis horse, um, and then had to go from there. So look guys, quick download. Um, we are now four hours, 17 minutes away from the marketplace. I am not sure if I'm going to be buying anything and my anxiety is even still through the roof. I'm just super keen to see what drops in this one um, based on what happened last time. It, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be some cool horses out there. Rod has hinted at some really good names that are going to be dropped as well, which is fun to pick up. Um, so get out there, buy some horses, have some fun. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, if you need some help, analyzing your horses once you have bought them and i think over the next three to four days like what happened a week and a half ago we're going to have some awesome awesome racing heaps of racing regular racing and i'll see you out in the racetrack have some fun guys cheers